Hello everyone, I'm Mr. X, the hunter in these videos, and today I will be narrating our challenge mode run for Gate of the Setting Sun. At the beginning, we do one big continuous pull of every group to the very entrance of the boss room. We have someone marked to stack on, as they will be watching where the bombs land and calling them out, as well as avoiding them, so no one gets hit. The bombs are probably one of the most challenging parts of this pull, as there's so much going on it's hard to see them at times. We all stack together because of the smoke bombs, so that we can all be healed and able to DPS the trash. This boss is pretty standard. It is very similar to the heroic version, just avoid the bombs and watch who's sabotaged, and don't line up your explosion with the bombs so that they explode and kill everyone. Uh, you might want to wait a little bit before leaving the room, because if you stand on the bombs that are blocking the exit of the room as they explode, they'll probably kill you. After that kill, we kill the next trash pack that comes flying up the wall. Do watch out for smoke bombs again, and make sure to interrupt the gale winds from the wind shapers, as the gale winds hurt a lot. The next pull is across the bridge where the big kachonk is attacking it. If you jump right before the kachonk hits the gate, you will not get stunned, as you will be in the air as the gate is jostled. This next trash pull is a bit tricky, you probably want to have everyone uh, in the same place at the same time, so if some people run ahead of you, you can probably wait on the stairs without pulling the trash. Why it's tricky is because there are uh, multiple reavers which have a pretty nasty cleave, so don't stand in front of them, and they also have a rage effect, so if you have a dispel or a purge, then do so. Um, I was the hunter, so I was able to do a tranquil shot on them and remove it. Once again, do watch for smoke bombs and interrupt gale winds if they show up. This next pull, we only kill one mob, so we CC two of them, killed one of them, and then ran to the elevator. Once you run to the elevator, nothing will follow you anymore. You want to make sure everyone's about the same uh, location, so that everyone gets on the elevator at the same time. You can click the lever and up you go. This boss is rather intense for the healers, as they will, he will pick a target to feast on, pick them up, stun them so they won't be able to do anything, and do tons of damage. It will kill them in a couple of ticks if they're not healed, so it is very intensive, you need to do lots of healing to that target. Right as you're about to kill the boss, you want to have one person positioned at the cannons and another one on the lift. Your healer will have time to drink here. Ours did not, because they were the fastest moving member, so they were the one who did the lift run to go and click the bell. One person up top will click the flak cannons to remove the fire from the wall, while the other clicks the lift and as soon as the, as soon as the boss dies, the lift will start dropping, and you can kind of like clip through the, the lift at a certain point and start running across the wall and click the bell. Once you click the bell, it will trigger a cutscene that will teleport everyone in the same place. You can skip this cutscene uh, by clicking the yes, uh, press escape and then click the yes button. Sometimes your mouse does not show up. The way to fix that is to click both mouse buttons at the same time. Your cursor usually shows up again and you're able to skip that cinematic. It is possible to click the bell before the flat cannons go off, but it is not advised as it will leave the fire on the wall, which has happened to us once or twice, and the fire does hurt quite a bit. Then we pull the trash, one pack at a time. They're very similar to the trash pull right before the gate, with the reavers and the smoke bomb, and the gale winds. So make sure to interrupt gale winds, don't stand in front of the reaver cleave, and if you can remove their rage effect, do so. This next boss is pretty easy, just slowly kite him up the wall on one side as he drops the green puddles, and bring him back around if you start running out of room. These green puddles I don't think do any damage in challenge modes, they don't in Heroic, but I did not test to see if they did in Challenge Modes. What they do in Heroic is no damage, you can stand in them, but they will make your damage. You, they will make you do no damage whatsoever, so you don't want to stand in them. Uh, he will also summon a bunch of adds. The way to deal with those is just let them get killed by his Frenzy Frontal Cleave attack, but don't stand in that yourself. After we kill the boss, we run past the adds that we skipped on the way to the elevator and jump down. You want to jump on that little, um, there's like a little wooden beam that sticks out, you want to jump on that and then jump on the floor. But do be very careful before jumping on the floor because if you're not at full health, you're more likely going to die. Uh, so once you land and you have very low health, I suggest saving time by eating food, bandaging, or basically healing yourself up to help your healer out, who will sometimes need to drink at this point, and it'll save time if you're already healed up. The next boss will require people to jump on top of him and DPS his weak spot. 
From my personal experience, I found that the launchers at the back of the room, the ones near the gate that he just broke into, rarely ever work. So I like to stick to the launcher that are closer to the exit portal where he smashes into. Sometimes you won't be able to click on those launchers because there's Pandaren who are using it. So just wait until they get launched and then you can go up yourself. Um, apparently you can only have two people on top of him. And I also noticed that pets work. So if you're a hunter, you can go up there and your pet will be able to help you out. Remember to click the button to jump off of him before he smashes into the gate or you'll take some damage. After that, after his weak spot is gone, he'll take a lot more damage, fixate on a target and uh, try and run towards them. So just kite him around and that phase is pretty easy. There are tornadoes running around the room, so try and avoid those. And that's pretty much it and it'll be over. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to watch the full run we did with the TeamSpeak audio and uh, unedited completed run, you can click on it right now. The one we just did is Gate of the Setting Sun. And if you click on the other ones, those ones will take you to the other dungeons I've narrated. Alright, thank you very much for watching and do take care.